Welcome back to Pro Wrestling Throwdown. It's our break-in holiday special between Christmas and the New Year. This is Luke the Big Dog Williams. I'm Kayla Black. That's our in-studio producer, the Mighty Max Fury. And we are talking. It's another Wasn't That a Finish. We've covered the Super Kick. We've covered the DDT. We've covered the Pile Driver. And this week, we're talking about the Power Bomb. Big bomb. Oh, yeah. Vader bomb. Show people Show the Vader, the Vader bomb. bombs. We've seen the Vader <laughs> bombs. We've seen the Vader bomb, Terry. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> His name was Leon. We'll call him Terry. <laughs> oh, Terry. Uh, Terry. Terry. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the power bomb uh, move created by Luthez. Later on, popularized by a various number of wrestlers. Popularized by everyone who's ever laced the boots, <laughs> apparently. With, with, with a number of people who've used it. The coolest part about that was, really, it was used as a finisher by a lot of people. Truth. Uh, nowadays, a lot of guys will you know hit a quick power bomb or whatever and get a kick out, and sometimes that works depending on you know uh, Ben Juan Malenko would hit each other power bomb, but they're not coming in with it all the way. They're the same size, so that that makes gives a little bit more believability. But a guy like Kevin Nash picks me up for a power bomb. I better believe I'm not getting back up. No, because that's the way it should work. Because why? Cause it's a finisher. That's the way it should work. Because it's power bomb. Everybody's pretty familiar with the power bomb. You take the wrestler, you put their head under your legs, you lift them up, you strap, they're, they're, they're upright, sitting on your shoulders, and you slam them down on the mat. That's how that works, right, Max? That's how that works. <laughs> Max, have you ever taken a power bomb? I've, I've taken a kibble. <laughs> was taken, the, taken was a kibble. the guy who gave you a power bomb a handsome son of a bitch? No, he was a nasty, dirty piece of shit. Just a no good, dirty bastard, huh? He wore a mask because he was ugly. <laughs> Both, of, Both of them was I got, a, I got a pretty power bomb. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, the power bomb. Well, that's the most standard version of the power bomb. Of course, you just went I'm through, not the, list going before, through the list again. Before we got on camera, and there's like 80 million versions of a fucking power bomb. That's about all I can do. Uh, in my opinion, there is only one version of the power bomb that has ever mean in well two. Because I used to use the razor's edge. But that's for another story. Christopher the Christ. jackknife power bomb is still, in my opinion, the prettiest power bomb. <sighs> I don't know. Sid Vicious's power bomb was pretty pretty. Well, his was kind of a jackknife power. Bomb. It was, but he did because Kevin Nash would just take you out with the jackknife and kind of drop you. Nash would do the or, uh, Vicious would do the follow through. Sometimes, like. sometimes, most of the time. The difference between the jackknife and the uh, and and Sid Vicious's power bomb is Sid would split leg it. Yeah, when they come up, one leg would go here, one leg would go here, and then he'd drive them. Kevin Nash, when he brought him all the way up, he shot down. him out. Yeah. I'll tell you who took the prettiest fucking jackknife powerbomb ever was Kurt Angle in TNA. Mm, see, I don't know. Uh, that's my favorite one. I don't know. Watching Shawn Michaels take it on that Raw where he took uh, Sid Vicious's three power bombs in a row. Oh, yeah. Well, that was pretty fucking vicious, man. <laughs> pretty hard. Literally. Yeah. Vicious. Uh, literally. Well, he was Justice. In psycho <laughs> Sid psycho Justice. Psycho uh, psycho no, I, I'm a big fan of power bombs. Um, Me too. I never was a tall guy. Yeah, but I always used a power bomb because my size it made sense. Yeah. Well, see, and I'm fortunate. When I was a wrestler, I'm still six two, six one. Most of the guys on the independent scene now were much shorter, so I right. could I could throw a power bomb in if I'm not working a guy my size because it would work. Um, I have the feeling <laughs> that the power bomb uh, should only be used by bigger guys. I don't like when cruiserweights do power agree. bombs because it's not a power bomb. It's in the title, yeah. power bomb. It's it's more of a lift bomb. It's more of a just picking them up and tossing them around. But again, there's there is no, something to be... There's no impact. There is there's, something to be said about the Christmas, like I was talking about the Malenko and Benoit power bombs. They were crisp, and they snapped into it, which I kind of... I really liked that. But you couldn't get a bigger guy to do that to a smaller guy, because no. it would just kill him. Or a smaller guy to do that to a bigger guy. I'll tell you what... Which one, I've seen on the indies. One of my favorite power bombs uh, was, of course... Dave Batista's sit out power bomb. This, yeah, the sit out. I well, love. Sit, at first, it was a sit down, sit down yeah. power bomb. Uh, the originator of the sit down power bomb. Uh, a lot of people don't give credit. Ahmed Johnson's Pearl River Plunge yep. was a double underhook power. Yes, bomb. Yes, it was. Where he would flip them up, catch them, and drive them down, and it was a thing of fucking beauty. Yeah. Uh, Batista. The only reason Batista stopped coming down with him is because there was a rule in WWE made about it. Yeah. Because Cena got hurt. Because Cena got hurt, yep. To where he couldn't come down on his ass anymore. He had to hit him and roll out backwards. Yeah. Uh, which I always thought took just that much off of the, of yeah. the Batista body. I always thought when he first would just bring him in and then bam. Yeah. I, I always loved that. Always loved it. It's the flat. The, the flat. Yeah. yeah. It looks Well, so and it nicer. looks like it, it, it adds to the impact because he's coming down with them. Yeah. So it's like he's carrying all that weight. And it just looked. 
pr- and luckily, pretty. Luckily pretty. for me, I've never had to be on the receiving end of a power bomb. I have. Luckily, I have been on the receiving end of one power bomb. It was from. Well, I took I took a one from the top rope where they reached underneath me, and I took one from but, Nasty Bill. I think that was, was it. Nasty Wild Bill or Outlaw Bill or whoever the hell at Renegade Pro Wrestling when I was. God. Nasty Bill. 19, yeah, yeah. Big Bill. The guy who fired me on, on Friday the 13th and then rehired me two weeks later. <laughs> I think, honestly, the most vicious looking powerbomb I think I've ever seen goes to The Undertaker. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the last, last ride. ride just looks vicious as shit. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, and, another, and, and another one that Shawn Michaels takes probably the prettiest. Oh, yeah. We well, didn't have a choice. Is that one? Well, that one he took at Mania where he goes up and he just kind of throws his arms out like this as he comes down. Mm-hmm. Man, that was pretty. So pretty. Uh, where uh, the the main focus of this video is power bombs, in my opinion, should be done by bigger athletes. Now, I agree. With that being said, once, yeah, one, any more than one power bomb, unless you're putting a statement on the end of a match where you're trying to write somebody off, yeah, or uh, or make a statement to where you're going to get disqualified or something yeah. like that, then multiple is fine. If you're in just a regular one power bomb right. finish, like when Lesnar hit the three power bombs on Spike Dudley, he did that. As a show of intentionally, life. yeah, yeah, to to beat him up. It wasn't he would he didn't go for the one and Spike Dudley kick out. It Thank wasn't God. like him hit somebody with a power. Me hit somebody with a power bomb, and then bounce off the ropes and hit somebody with a clothesline and pin him. It makes yeah. no sense. Or pick them up and give them a shock treatment and then give them a give them a uh, sledgehammer to the face. Sledgehammer to the face and a catatonic and another move and then just leave him there. <laughs> and just leave him there. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be that guy. That guy, whoever that guy is, especially especially if asshole. you're especially if you're wearing a Punisher shirt and camel pants, don't do it. It's not fun. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> Beat hey, the fuck out of here! Fucking death, <laughs> getting your fucking death glare. Go to the end. Go to the end. <laughs> Guys, we're talking about the power bomb. Let us know what some of your favorite power bombs in the comments down below. After you like and subscribe, find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash pro wrestling throwdown. Send us a tweet. Follow us on Twitter at Pro Wrestling TD. Uh, don't forget, we return to Twitch January 9th. 9th. So check us out there at Pro Wrestling Throwdown and stay tuned because we got a couple more videos coming to you. Until then, show them the Vader Bomb. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and fuck you! Bye. Bye.